Just from now, you can record. I have started, sir. No issue. Okay, right. Now, how to provide security? First thing, the first important word in security is anti malware. In security, first important word is anti malware. Second important word is firewall. Firewall is also a kind of anti malware. Malware means any program which harms your computer can be called as malware. What is malware? Any program which harms your computer can be called as malware. If you wish to secure your web applications, the first thing what we're going to install in our web application is a firewall. Just search with the word called web application firewall, W-A-F, OAPS. What is the word? W-A-F, OAPS. Few minutes back, I told you about this OAPS. What this OAPS will do? OAPS will provide you the list of vulnerabilities and the way to protect from those vulnerabilities, right? So OAPS firewall, if you install this web application firewall in your web applications, you'll be protected from some of the attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and some sort of injection-based attacks. Don't forget to check this. Web application firewall. Second, for second security mechanism for web applications. Cloudflare. Cloudflare. Some people will start DOS attacks on the websites. If you wish to protect from DOS attacks or DDoS attacks, this Cloudflare will help you. When you are browsing some sort of websites, sometimes it will send you a captcha to identify whether you are a human or a bot. Same type when some attacks are going on your website. If you have enabled this, uh, if you just change the name servers of your website to Cloudflare name servers, Cloudflare will handle such type of attacks. You have to change your name servers to Cloudflare and you have to update your name servers of your actual server in the Cloudflare. So actual company, I, I mean, uh, Attacker will not know your actual IP address. This is one way to protect from web application attacks. This is the second, second point. First point is OAPS firewall. Second point is Cloudflare. Okay. Third point. Third point, filter the parameter values. Filter parameter values. Whatever the attack it is, most of the top attacks, 80% of attacks, are because of some manipulation in the parameter values. Either it's get parameter or post parameter, whatever it is. Some manipulation in the parameter values. So filter the parameter values. If it is integer, do type parsing. Do type parsing. Sir, are students of which year? Guys, you are in which year right now? They are uh, from second year, third year, and finally, yes, so there's no issue. Oh, it's a combo pack. Yeah, combo pack. Mm. So some students may not, uh, some students will feel it's uh, advanced. Some people will feel it's fine. It depends. So it's a combo pack. Some people may sleep then. <laughs> so, okay. After this, we'll target basics completely, okay? So the second point is Cloudflare. The third point is filtering the parameter values. Either it's post parameter or get parameter, or put parameter, or delete parameter, whatever the parameter it is. Filter the parameter values. Next, fourth one. Instead of using statements, use stored procedures. Instead of using statements, use stored procedures. When you are working with your web application, most of the people will use the statement directly. Don't use the store. Uh, don't use the statements directly. Use the stored procedures or callable statements. Fourth years may understand that easily, but I doubt for others second years about the stored procedures. Second years, uh, SQL finished for you? SQL over? Uh, it's going on. Uh, probably, hopefully, they'll have it. 
Uh, no, no, not yet, sir. Second year, they, they will have next semester. But okay. we have a classes that are going to start from the next month of May, uh, the okay. courses. Okay, okay. Then we'll go with the common mobile security as well as yeah, uh, mobile security will go, sir. This is common for all the people. Uh, mobile security, you go with mobile security. That will be awesome. Okay, sir. Done, done. So, what is mobile security? Most of us are having these mobile phones, right? We're not, not going to discuss any kind of mobile attacks now. We're not going to discuss about the spy, uh, spy apps now. I'll tell you six points to you. Six points. If you follow those six points, your mobile will be secured. Even if you forget to check at least one point, may someone hack your mobile. Okay, let's start the game. Are you ready? Please do respond chat box. How many of you are ready to learn? Please do respond hi or say something in the chat box. Guys, get ready. Yeah, yo, yo. <laughs> OK, so I'll tell you six points. The first point, the first point, see, I have more than 280,000 plus followers in my Facebook. Every day, I used to get some tens of messages saying that their Instagram got hacked. This is my followers in my Facebook page, OK? So every day, Tens of people messages me, message me saying that their Facebook got hacked, their Instagram got hacked, their mobile got hacked, and number of things they post. So how people are attacking your PCs, how people are attacking your Instagram? I'll tell you that topic now. Okay. Not attacking part. It's security part, I'm telling you. This just two days back. I was at uh, AP police meet. Two, three days back. This is my story published. OK, if you have Facebook account, just do follow me. Sai Satish, just go and search with the word called Sai Satish. You can find my page in Facebook. OK, coming back to the point. First point, mobile security. People are using some sort of spy applications to attack your devices. Spy applications, SPY. I'll tell you the solutions for all the problems. First point, check whether your mobile bootloader is locked or unlocked. We cannot be able to hear you, sir. Mute. Somebody has mute you. <laughs> okay. See ya. That's why Zoom is one of the fantastic applications with good features. Microsoft Teams and Google Teams Pro don't have proper uh, features, seriously. They have yeah, to update. Uh, this is the first some I have this, this is the first time I have tried it and hopefully this will be the last time which I am going to try this one. <laughs> okay. Zoom is fantastic one. They have very good features. Very good. Is very, uh, Zoom is very awesome. That I'll try the next time. Yeah. See, the first point is bootloader. Whether it's it's locked or unlocked, it should not be unlocked. It should be locked. If it is unlocked, if it is unlocked, then you're going to get a warning. When you restart your mobile, your mobile says bootloader is unlocked. If it is saying unlocked, don't use a petrol phone. If you have the habit of purchasing secondhand mobiles from Picker and Overlex, you may get one unlocked mobile. If it is unlocked, don't use it. Because some sort of spy applications may come by default dangerous some people are installing custom roms those custom roms may have a default spy applications don't use it okay if you want to check restart your mobile 
when you restart your mobile, if it shows some warning, don't use it. OK. If you want to, if sometimes some custom ROMs won't show you that warning also, at that time, what you have to do? Guys, all of you open your Play, Google Play. All of you open your Play Store. I'll tell you what to check. There is one option called Play Protect. Go to Menu. Just go to Play Protect. How many of you are able to see? In Menu, Play Protect. Seen, sir. Scan. Yes, that should be on. Play Protect should be on every time. Make sure it won't be off. OK, that's the first point. Play Protect should be on. Second, your device should be certified. Then what to do? Then click on menu. Click go to settings. Go to settings. Some people are using custom ROM. If people are using custom ROM, the device won't be certified. Then go to settings in Play Protect. I mean Google Play Store. Scroll down the last option, Play Protect Certification. Can you see that? Play Protect Certification. If device is certified, that means it's not custom ROM, not a big issue. How many of you are able to see? Please do respond chat box. Yes, sir. Certified. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> certified. Yeah, certified means it's not custom ROM, not a big issue. OK, that's your first step. Second step. Second step. Guys, you have to check all six steps. Even if you forget to check third step or fourth step, maybe hacked. If you want to check whether your mobile is hacked or not, you have to follow all six points. Don't miss any single point also. Second point, a root checker. Check whether it's rooted or not. Root checker. Root checker. Just go to Play Store. Download a software called Root Checker. Download a software called Root Checker. This software will tell you whether your phone is rooted or not. What is rooting? Rooting is the highest privilege in Linux operating system. Root is the highest user of Linux operating system. Highest privilege. Your Android is also a Linux operating system. Yes, you can run Linux commands also. Do you want to know how to run Linux commands? Do you want to know how to run the Linux commands? Just search with the word called Termux. T E R M U X. End of shell where you can run some Linux commands. You can install Python. You can run some Python scripts also. Wget you can use. Curl you can try. You can try many things. Termex. Your Android is also a Linux operating system. So check whether your phone is rooted or not. Root checker will tell you. If you have not rooted it, if someone has rooted without your permission, if someone has rooted without your permission, then it's dangerous. OK? If someone has rooted your Android phone without your knowledge, it's dangerous because if it is rooted, it has the provisionality to access the internal memory of other applications. One application can access the internal memory of other applications. Dangerous. So just check whether it's rooted or not. It should not be rooted. Third point. Let's check the accessibility. In settings, you can so find an option called accessibility. Yeah, we'll take so, uh, questions later on. Just uh, let me finish the talk, then we'll take questions. Okay. okay. Not now. Only right now, just listen what I'm saying. Just write your stuff. Later we can discuss. Second point accessibility. So sorry, third point 
next point is accessibility this is your third point if you give accessibility permission to any application they can do screen recording and they can uh, draw overlay of other applications they can do screen recording they can take the screenshots a lot of access issues will be there so check what kind of issues are there accessibility permission should not be given to anyone accessibility permission should not be given okay yeah this is uh, these these topics will cover from all those attacks also by apk phishing site. not phishing sites from via apk these things will be covered now in accessibility nothing should be there fourth point device administrator or device manager just go to the options called device manager or device administrator device manager or device administrator you can find except find my device everything should be off you can find an option called device manager or device administrator except find my device everything should be off in it got it except find my device everything should be off in device manager or device administrator fifth point applications list applications list or apps manager just open all the applications list uninstall all the suspected applications which you have not installed uninstall all the suspected applications which you have not installed uninstall all the suspected applications what are the application you have not installed uninstall them that's your fifth point sixth point permissions manager fifth point permissions manager you can check what kind of permissions what kind of applications are taking what kind of permissions just go to camera i mean just check the camera permission what kind of how many applications are taking your camera how many applications are taking your uh, uh, mic permission how many applications are taking your location just check out that one now i'm expecting answers only integer values just let me know how many applications are taking your camera permission respond in chat box post only integer value don't post any kind of string strings are not allowed 46 applications wow that means 46 applications can do live streaming of your camera without your knowledge 21 8 21 almost is a string value 33008 strings are not permitted double quotes 3 is also a string strings are not permitted 3065 very good. Many people are posting only integers. Integers are valid. Hundred applications. Wow, three three zero zero eight. I'm calling on the mic. <laughs> so mic permissions. Just check the mic permissions. Three three zero five two nine apps. It's a string value. Don't post strings. Only integers you have to respond. Okay. So. What you have to do, remove them. Don't grant those permissions if you don't trust the application. We all know about cam scanner. We all know about cam scanner. Cam scanner is a kind of malware identified by Kaspersky. Please move your help. Please move your help. Yeah. Casper Sky is a kind of 
malware identified by M scanner. It was installed in 100 million mobiles here. 100 million mobiles. 24 hours, 365 days, you don't use cam scanner. You don't use cam scanner for 24 hours, 365 days. When I use it, you can give permission. Other time, don't grant the permission. At other times, don't grant the permission. It will create some nonsense in your mobile. Yeah, any alternative, many alternatives are there. Even our Indian versions of scanners are also there. I don't have the list right now in my mobile, but there are many, many alternatives are there. You can try that one, not an issue. Otherwise, being an engineer, first point, being an engineer, you should develop those. You should develop those. If you'll just learn OpenCV, you can do it. Just try OpenCV. Mobile version is also there. Android version of OpenCV is also there. Just check the borders and scan it. After OpenCV, you can try with OCR also. From image to characters, you can do it. Instead of depending on Adobe Scan or Microsoft Scan or some other scanners, even those scanners will take your camera permission, right? So better, don't grant permissions for 24 hours, 365 days. That's important word. Next, in your mobile, you must have some antivirus. In your mobile, you must have some antivirus. Say Avast, A-V-A-S-T. A-V-A-S-T, Avast antivirus. Avast or McAfee. McAfee or Kaspersky. Install one of the antiviruses, okay? But don't believe in fake antiviruses. If you open some sort of pirated websites like nasongs.com or song or uh, PK songs, if you search with this word with those words. When you try to download some pirated movies or some pirated uh, music, it will show you a nonsense pop-up. It will show you some nonsense pop-up. That nonsense pop-up is a fake ad. It will show you advanced 2021 antivirus for free. We scanned your mobile. We found 2000 viruses. Download this free antivirus to secure your device. Otherwise, it will show you a pop-up. Your browser is outdated. Download this tool to upgrade your browser or your Android operating system or your browser. I mean, your OS is outdated. Download this to secure your stuff. It will show you like that, right? If you start believing that ad, you will face a lot of issues. Don't download any kind of apps like that and don't install it. Install only these trusted applications. Directly go to Play Store. Directly download Kaspersky or McAfee or Avast or Quick Hill. So, which antivirus is good? I'll tell you here. AVComparatives.org. There is a website called AVComparatives.org. Some fake ads, some fake ads also will come with these uh, Kaspersky or McAfee name. Don't download from those pop-ups. Download directly from Play Store. See, there is a comparison between various antiviruses. Almost 75 plus popular antiviruses are there. If you want to get list, just go to avcomparatives.org or you can also go to virustotal.com. I do recommend some of the antiviruses. They are Avast, Avira, Bitdefender. Bitdefender is very good antivirus. Bitdefender, K7. K7 is also very good antivirus. Kaspersky, McAfee. Somewhat Norton. Somewhat okay. 
let me repeat it avast avera bit defender k7 kaspersky mcafee norton these are some of the good antiviruses where is a comparison just check out the comparison of those antiviruses here how they are performing how they are responding to thousands of viruses see in this list microsoft is performing is poor microsoft defender so one second i'm going to give call yeah fine so these are some of the antiviruses what you have to install in your mobile as well as in your desktop uh, since uh, desktop solution also i'm giving you for desktop security you have to install a firewall f i r e w a l l komodo firewall is good install a komodo firewall install a komodo firewall for your desktop it will be secured see there are uh, many people who are believing some sort of extensions if you just add those extensions that also will hack your mobile some extensions also one second. yeah some extensions also will hack your mobile some extensions all to your browser also will hack your desktop computer got it so at the time what you have to do install a firewall don't add any kind of extensions to your browser don't add any kind of extensions to your browser they also will hijack your uh, cookies they also hijack your keystrokes they do lot of nonsense activity in your browser so these are some of the security tips which i want to share uh, i'll share couple of cyber crimes with you then i'll wind up my talk cyber crimes seven or eight cyber crimes i'll share with you then we'll go ahead with q and a can you just show us that uh, uh, extension any lines one what they have got the data or someone has got the data the extension because many of them will be doing that extension on the body call on the internet and something like that can you just show us that one that will be helpful yeah see you are able to see my chrome browser sir uh, yes i we are able to see your chrome browser yeah if you search with the word called f e a key logger f e a key logger the browser extension if i add this to my browser all the keystrokes whatever i do everything will be captured by this key logger everything will be captured by this key logger this key logger will show that i am capturing other extensions will not show that they are capturing there is one more extension called remote desktop this extension will completely give the remote desktop to opposite person so these type of extensions are directly available in play store some extensions will not be available in play store they are very malicious extensions if we believe those extensions and if we add to our browser then a lot of nonsense activities will happen it will show you one link but if you click on that link another link will be opened it will show you unnecessary ads to you unnecessary pop ups will be there guys how many of you face that issue please do respond chat box yeah 3308 uh, 80 that's a point of keylogger means that keylogger is showing that it is doing but others will not do it other other applications will not do it got it other applications will not show that they are capturing so you should not add any kind of extensions yeah if you face such type of issue means your browser is already hijacked so dangerous don't add any kind of extensions to your browser okay coming back uh, to the crimes so this is the one abdul sir 
Chrome extensions. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now coming to cyber crimes, we'll share some cyber crimes uh, uh, details to you. I'll not mention any kind of uh, side headings. You just write the side heading names. You have to tell me. I'll just tell you the number. You have to tell me the cyber crime. I'll tell you one cyber crime is this. Two cyber crimes is this. I'll tell you seven, eight cyber crimes like this. When I ask what's the fifth cyber crime, you have to respond chat box. First cyber crime happening in matrimonial websites. Matrimonial websites is the first cyber crime. That means when you register as a bride or bridegroom, immediately you you will get some offers. If you register like a for a for bride, you will get immediately get some messages from bridegroom. Both will chit chat for some time. After three days or four days, opposite person they do video chat also. That guy will do video chat also. After four days or five days, that guy will say, "I'm sending a diamond jewelry to you. I'm sending a diamond jewelry to you. Uh, it cost almost one crore rupees." What you have to do, just collect this and wear it. It's my first gift to you. This girl will feel happy and she'll be thinking what to do with the diamond jewelry, diamonds and jewelry. After four days, this girl will get a call saying that, Madam, we are calling from Blue Dot Courier. You received a diamond jewelry set. You have to pay three lakh rupees for custom tax. Because this diamond jewelry cost one crore, you have to pay three percentage. And this girl will pay. After two days, Blue Dot guys will call again. Madam, you successfully cleared custom tax. We are coming to your hometown. We'll hand out the box to you. But you have to pay this, uh, this, this security charges will be there. Almost two lakh rupees. Again, she will pay. Like that, one father and daughter believed that strategy. And they they paid almost 19 lakh rupees for this one, and they both committed suicide at Guntur district. It happened around two years back. Every month, at least 50 cases are getting registered at Hyderabad on these matrimonial frauds. Don't believe in such type of matrimonial frauds. That's the first thing. Second point. Second point is fake job offer letters. Fake job offer letters. Let me show you some fake job offer letters. If you sign up today with a fake resume in naukri.com or monster.com, immediately you'll get some job offer letter from a company called Hyundai or Infosys or TCS or some other company. They'll ask you to join immediately. They do some fake interviews also. They do some fake interviews also. See, this is one of the offer letters what I got from a company called Hyundai, but it's a fake offer letter. They're offering me 85,000 to 3 lakh rupees per month, plus TA, DA, and many things. What I have to do? I have to come to Delhi. They are sending flight tickets as well as hotel reservation also will be sent, it seems. But for that, I have to pay 13,800 rupees for that. Once I pay 13,800 rupees, they will send me flight tickets and hotel reservation day things and it's a refundable money that amount is refundable somewhere they'll mention it's refundable where is it yeah it is refundable amount here it is refundable amount fantastic offer right it's a fake offer letter second one is fake job offer letters Fake job offer letters. Third one, fake internships. Fake internships. If you go to intern Shala, you'll find many internships. If you join for free, after a month or 15 days, they will say, they will say that uh, you got selected for an offer you will get some mobile phone or you will get some laptop, but you have to pay 3,500 rupees or 5,000 rupees. 
fake internships are going a lot in the market don't believe it it's a third cyber crime fourth one fourth one fake data entry operations fake data entry operations many students are falling for this attack special in this covid time they saw some fake offer letters this are some fake why would you pay money to work there are many bakras just go to some cyber crime cell you will find such type of bakras in many places okay so many people are falling for this particular up front jobs up front they are paying 20000 30000 many things they are doing just a second let me show you fake yeah this girl paid almost 9500 rupees this girl believed a girl named sindhu she saw some home based work data entry works and she got the project after that what happened after 10 days that those guys made a call to this girl they said you done a lot of mistakes in your job you have to pay 9800 rupees otherwise we'll send a lawyer notice to you and those guys sent a lawyer notice even that lawyer notice also fake one that lawyer notice also fake one and this girl lost almost uh, thousands of rupees because of that fake offer let i mean fake debt entry operations don't fall for fake debt entry operations okay Mm, C three three zero three. Even if you call to a data uh, HR department, to which company you will call? Which company you will call? Even if that company website itself is a fake, what will you do? Okay. So people are uh, see there are lakhs of people who are applying for. Yeah, no script somewhat you can find not an issue. No script Chrome extension not an issue. again you have to check what kind of uh, code is written for no scripts also see there are people who are creating websites for that there are people who are creating fake company websites and they are looting money from people don't believe without facing without going to direct company at face the interview just check out the company who is information just check out the company's turnover details if it is public lim- public limited company one kind of things you have to do you can go and check in stock market if it is private limited company just check the established year and the turnover details if they disclose check the team members check the social media social media presence of that company check the google reviews check even consumer complaints about the reviews of that company is very very important company name space fake just check with this word company name space fake if if you find something news don't po- i mean don't believe those okay if anyone is raising some sort of issues in consumer complaints don't believe it and most of the time if a company is asking you up front more than a 3000 rupees and if it is a new company without proper social media presence you can suspect it if it is a new company if they are asking more than 3000 rupees better avoid it okay some companies will ask you to train you because they are investing some lakhs of rupees to tra- on training if you leave after training it's a loss for the company even our company feel uh, are facing some issues we train people for 6 months 5 to 6 months first initial days they are not productive we have to keep on invest after that once they are once they become product they are leaving companies that means we are missing we are losing a lot of money because of this training so our company do charge and they talk they take some bonds okay even in point of companies also but check whether that company is really doing it or not social media presence is very very important see there is no such type of symbols on email 
such type of symbols won't be there. Okay, long back in movies you used to watch some some sort of signals. If a rowdy come, they'll have some long mustache, uh, some a, a kind of uh, what you call bogamito ka dot on tan digada. Enta di? Yaman tam Hindi lo di? Bogamito. Pada matcha ka. What do you call in Hindi or English? Not tilak. Tilak is different. Tilakam where mole, a kind of uh, not normal mole also. It's a kind of Telugu radu. Is that what you are A mole on cheek, a kind of uh, and, and you know, ah, okay, black color pimple. You can say and uh, uh, a kind of lungi. A kind of lungi what he wears, right? The checks, checks kind of uh, lungi. People will not do like that, really. Rowdies will not be like that. Only in movie rowdies will be like that. Same way, there will be no indication in your emails also. CS should be CS for everyone. CS should be CS for everyone. Cyber security should be common sense for everyone. Then only you'll be protected. Got it? Cyber security should be common sense for everyone. Then only they'll be protected. Otherwise, you're in danger. Yeah, uh, we have not completed all the cyber crime set. Let me finish off with the fourth one. Fifth one, OLX and quicker second hand market uh, things. Whether you want to sell a product or you want to buy a product, immediately you'll get a call. Just make a simple product today in quicker. Okay, uh, try to sell your bike. Mention 50,000 or 35,000. Within a couple of days, you're going to get a call from a fake customer saying that I'm working in army or I'm working at some other location of some other state, say Rajasthan or Assam. I saw your bike. It's fantastic. I want to buy it. I'll send you money right away. Uh, I saw your car. It's also good. Even if you want to sell it or if you want to buy it, both the things. Okay, I saw your car, it's fantastic. I'll send you money right away. First, I'll send you a QR code. Since I'm working at Army, I cannot send you direct money. What you have to do is you scan this QR code, send five rupees to me, you'll get 10 rupees. Your five rupees will be back, as well as additional five rupees also will be back to you. Just test it, they'll send you one QR code. If you scan that QR code, five rupees will be debited. After debited, that guy will send 10 rupees to you. That guy will send 10 rupees to you. If your value of your bike is 50,000, that guy will ask to send 50,000 to his account. What do you expect? Second moment, you will get, you should get 1 lakh, but you don't get. Again, you'll make a call to that guy saying that uh, my 50,000 is not coming back. Then he will say, oh, it might got struck. Do one thing. Send one lakh to me now. You will get two lakh rupees. If you send one lakh again, total how much it got struck? 1.5 lakh got struck. And he will never answer your call again. So, second hand markets, QR code scanning is going on. Be aware of it. Sixth one. A guy will get a message from some Indonesian woman or from Russian woman. And that girl will do video chat with this guy. And at midnight, that girl will tempt this guy. And they both do some vulgar video chat. That girl will record it. That girl will record it. And that girl will say, I'm going to upload this video in social media and I will tag all your friends if you don't pay me so and so amount. Kale Katham. What's the next next dialogue? Kale Katham. After Kale Katham. Paisa Hazam. No, no, no. One more word is there, right? Dukan Dukan Ban. Dukan Ban. Kale Katham Dukan Ban. Over that guy. So that's the. Uh, things are go also going on. That's the sixth one. Seventh one. Dead bank accounts. 
you will get a call or a message from african bank manager saying that there are many dead bank accounts in our bank we cannot withdraw money if you open one bank account in my com in my bank i will transfer all the money to your account you withdraw money give me 20% share 80% is yours fake dead bank accounts okay don't fall in the trap eighth one you'll get a message from a name of with the name of afghanistan woman or some indonesian woman she says i am one of the richest women in my city but i want to settle in india i have 100 crores of property 100 crores of property i will transfer all the money to your bank account immediately just give me some percentage after coming to india you'll feel happy 100 crores you are getting man you say you'll share your bank details after some time bank manager will call you so we are calling from sbi manage we are calling from state bank of india manager of it you are about to receive 100 crores but for that do you have agreement you should not use this money for uh, terrorist activities you should not do these type of nonsense activities you will say okay okay i don't you i don't misuse all the things okay sir you are about to get the money you have to pay currency conversion charges currency conversion charges since it is 100 crores you have to pay 3 lakh rupees as a currency conversion charges immediately money will be debited to your account if you pay that 3 lakh rupees that guy will never respond to you again ninth cyber crime most of you know about the cyber crime this is uh, lotteries coca cola lottery no care lottery i hope you don't fall in the trap too okay these are some of the popular cyber crimes you should be aware of some people are falling for cryptocurrency and one guy have printed bitcoin also steel bitcoin he printed and he's selling bitcoins seriously how full people are they are purchasing with a serial number of bitcoin so don't be aware of this so it's quiz time now what's the fifth cyber crime what is the fifth cyber crime just do respond chat box. respond chat box fifth cyber crime fifth one second hand market okay olex and quicker scams what's the sixth cyber crime sixth one sixth online blackmail video blackmail what's the first cyber crime first one hello first one matrimonial no don't open your mic just respond chat box so we are not able to use the chat box okay leave it then just see the okay. chat box what's the second one second one second fake job offer letters what's the fourth one what's the fourth one fourth cyber crime fake data entry operations what's the ninth cyber crime ninth cyber crime ninth lotteries what's the seventh cyber crime seventh cyber crime unable to chat okay just see the screen what's the third cyber crime big dead bank accounts good seventh cyber crime sorry third cyber crime third one third cyber crime fake internships eighth cyber crime 
eighth cyber crime. Princess. What's the eighth one? Okay, these are some of the cyber crimes what you have to know. Okay, so we'll go ahead with Q&A. Q you can post uh, something related to technology aspects. Now you can unmute yourself and you can ask me the question. Then we'll discuss and we'll wind up today's session. And I'll share my company details. You can follow us in LinkedIn. How many of you have LinkedIn? If you don't have LinkedIn, just create today. Uh, ultimate purpose is to follow my company, okay? <laughs> just shared uh, LinkedIn to you. And I'll share my Instagram profile also. I just shared my LinkedIn. You can follow a company page. This is my Insta. You can follow Insta also. Insta have very less followers here. It should reach at least uh, three lakh, like Facebook. So today it will increase, sir. Thank you, thank you. So my Facebook, this QR code generally you have to enter your OTP. Without OTP, even with QR code also, money won't be transferred. Just by scanning, money won't be debited. Again, you have to enter QR code. Let me tell you what happened at, uh, to one of my students' parent. They saw one message one phone pay guy made a call to them okay one phone pay guy made a call to them madam congrats you're one of the topmost user of phone pay and we are sending 7500 rupees as a gift it's a cashback offer to you we are sending cashback offer 7500 to you please check your phone pay you'll get this message they saw phone pay they saw cashback offer 7500 rupees they accept it they accepted the cashback offer of 7,500. They entered UPA pin. That's it. Money debited from their account. Opposite guy requested money. He didn't pay the money. Opposite person, that fraudster, requested money with the name of cashback. These guys' parents could not be able to understand what is paying, what is receiving. They just saw the name called cashback. And they paid 7,500. That's what I'm telling you. CF should be CS for everyone. Cyber security should be common sense for everyone. How to know whether it's genuine call or re a genuine email or call? See, your face interview. If it is related to interview, you face the interview. You attend the company. See the company physically. If they're asking you a lot of amount, don't believe it okay one second this is the third time someone is calling just a second hello sir i'm in meeting i'll just call you after half an hour okay right thank you yeah look at this so see the company meet them check the social media presence just check the who are the teammates and check their reviews online whether any bad reviews are there some people intentionally put bad reviews okay let me tell you what happened in my internship program uh, we gave internships for almost uh, thousand plus students online internships more than 50 students they they joined only for certificate they never did any kind of work see they never kind did any kind of work we rejected them we didn't give them offer we we gave certificates for 950 people we stopped for 50 people because those 50 people didn't done any kind of work. They're only for namesake certificates. I seriously hate such type of uh, offers giving them. I mean, I don't want to give them because we lose trust from my company. My company is Indian Service. See, if you go to uh, HP or HCL or uh, Deloitte or Dell, most of the HRs knows me. I can't give certificates. I can't sell the certificates. Those 50 people may give you a wrong rating got it those 50 people may give you a wrong rating but check out the 950 how about the 950 people are there obviously when they come only for internship certificate i don't encourage them i don't want to sell the certificates so such type of things will happen 
So check the reviews, how genuinely they wrote and check, check the profiles, whether those reviews are from fake profiles or not. Some people will create some fake profiles just to give some positive review. Okay. So you have to, now we are not offering internships probably in March or April we will start those internships again. So check the reviews and check who is providing the review also. And most importantly, you have to uh, check social media reviews. That's important. And you can check in one of the things called uh, MCA, Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Ministry of Corporate Affairs. In that also, you can check who is the director, what are the other companies he associated with. That information you can check. Okay. So we'll go ahead with Q&A and we'll wind up in five to 10 minutes. Are there medi medical ethics, your thoughts on how about hacker ethics? See, uh, 3065, there is nothing called specially ethics like that for hackers. If he's doing some nonsense, he'll be called as black hat hacker. If he will do with some ethics, he'll be called as white hat hacker. Tor versus Brave browser, which is more safe. See, they, it depends upon what you want to do. Tor is also okay. Brave is also okay, but Tor would somewhat fine. But don't attack any kind of uh, websites, okay? Many people share Lucky Draw links in Amazon. Yeah, they're fake. They're fake, seriously. Don't uh, believe such type of things. In every group, one idiot will be there. Who believe all the nonsense things, whatever he see. In every group, one idiot will be there. Who will keep on believing all the nonsense, whatever he see. He'll send one link to you. Amazon Independence Day offers and Amazon uh, Republic Day offers. Okay. IT laws in India are they strict? <laughs> IT lag we have since 2000. For namesake. Somewhat okay, but not that much. Somewhat okay. I came to Nampali High Court last time. I came to Nampali High Court there. 20 year kids. 20 years, they're not kids in fact, but they look like kids. They're in court, you know, they got arrested because they're creating some fake profiles on a girl name. Out of 1000, at least 20 people are getting arrested. Of course, IT Act is like a tiger, but it's a paper tiger. It is there, but someone should report it. Asa, they are coming with their parents, you know. Their parents also crying before judge. I went there to submit some evidence. See, creating a fake profiles and abusing someone. Four days back, yeah, four days back, there is a thing called a Doc Pro. There is a uh, there is an application called Doc Pro. From that application, that guy sent some abusive message to a woman. That woman uh, father is SI. He raised the issue. He raised the issue. We sent a mail to BSNL from where that particular message originated. We got the information. Me means I, I suggested them what to do, how to do. Okay, I'm not a police guy. I help them sometimes. When they ask me, I'll help them. That's it. So that guy got arrested. Just with simple SMS also, they're doing a lot of nonsense activities. So whether it's Tor browser or Brave browser, don't do any kind of crime. Don't use them for doing crime. Okay. So flashing the stock ROM would be fine. See, uh, Mohammed, when you purchase uh, your own mobile and if you're installing such type of ROM, when you're installing such type of ROM, you you didn't create that ROM, right? You downloaded that ROM from somewhere else. You don't know what kind of default applications are there which are spying your mobile. If you do some confidential activity in your mobile, better don't flash and don't use some type of custom ROMs. They also may hijack your data. You don't know what kind of background traffic is going on unless you study in uh, study it exclusively. Yeah, WhatsApp new policies there, whatever you do right now will be with Facebook. 
what are the purchases you are making with whom you are speaking how much time you are speaking they are already recording it now they are recording officially they are recording officially attacks part we will discuss in next part uh, 3017 okay is there any chance of debit card details capturing yeah there is a chance uh, there is a there are concepts called skimmers 3098 there is a concept called skimmers so skimmers will capture all your credit card details including even if you use nfc there is obviously magnetic strip will be there whatsapp policy is good for us it's good for mark zuckerberg it's very good for mark zuckerberg okay uh, with this we'll wind up today's session so sir over to you thank you very much how to identify skimmers skimmers i'll i'll show you some images just just, just do one thing don't give your credit card to anyone okay they may skim it just search with the word called magnetic strip readers just for 2000 rupees also you can buy from amazon many servers at uh, restaurants they are scanning it at bangalore and they're selling your credit card information with cv number how to identify spyware or trojan in your pc for identifying a trojan if it is already activated then there is a tool called tcp view tcp view just use that one tcp view it will give you some information so spyware process explorer one more tool called process explorer that will help you process explorer is that gpay is safe or not gpay is not authorized by rbi google pay is not authorized by rbi phone pay is authorized google pay is on, only authorized by google not by rbi but still another thing they once you scan that one uh, the money is getting stuck or somewhere down the, down the line they don't know that one uh, many of the shopkeepers and everything they go for google pay or many of our student or many of my colleague like you said they use this google pay which i don't prefer it that's the only reason when many things comes to me or many many students come to me i told them please go ahead with the your bank transaction that is very wonderful you go with all the bank transaction that will be very yeah. helpful most of the people are having upi sir upi we can trust most of the bank accounts will do support upi bank applications you can trust google pay is also fine but the issue is google pay is not authorized by rbi there is the only issue okay okay sir shall we wind up now sir yeah i'll join uh, one more session now okay yeah i know that one that uh, you have a very big busy schedule with that but uh, once again, thank you very much, Sai Satesh, uh, for joining me up on a one just phone call. Uh, that was wonderful. I have phone call, I have WhatsApp messages. Uh, we had a wonderful chat with you before also, and hopefully we are going to have a one-day session with you in a campus when hopefully once the offline started, I'll be calling you on the offline basis. Sure, sir. Thank you very much. That Tell will me. be done. Hopefully that will be done from my side. Thank you very much for joining me up and thank you very much on behalf of my staff as well as my students and everything. Once yeah, again, thank you. 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 Bye all. Follow us in LinkedIn and as well as in Instagram. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Sure. Okay, thank you very much for joining up. I have got about uh, probably, I don't know, 150, I'll get the details and everything. I'll just have that details. And who has already joined, what time, I'll also get that detail. Based on when that one, I'll decide what I have to do on Monday. Uh, we have to take some action because it's not the things what we are going to do it. We have to take the action and I'll be taking a strict action according to that one. This is, uh, we started it, but uh, we are not getting a proper response from the student we are trying very hard we are getting a inspectors or 
speakers from all over the globe or something like that if you have already seen the speaker value and whatever the, he has about from eight o'clock he's giving uh yesterday he was in tripathi from eight o'clock he was busy one seminar eight to ten uh, ten to eleven he is here oh sorry eight to nine one seminar and nine to eleven was here was somewhere down 11 to 12 he has taken here uh one probably then one o'clock he has to go somewhere down the line on the web this is what we expected uh we are getting our resources and we are getting up but we are not getting a proper response from the student side that has to be taken into account and that has to be put into in a proper way that we are going to decide it on monday with my faculty members meeting and everything once again thank you very much whoever joined today whoever joined today for them thank you so it is difficult for students to use this application because it was new for us we have used it for first time you have i have already given you the yesterday itself the link and everything this is not the issue i have given you about 24 hours time this is not the way is it right i have given you about four o'clock yesterday and everything have been posted and there are few students yes i know the list which i posted in the morning because i was not getting feedback from the other side but i have posted that whatever the previous one means you have this is new for us i'm also doing this for first time but i got trained out it yesterday my faculty's padansa everyone was there available for me yesterday we sat out from 3 30 they working on for one hour to know all the processes what's going on now also i started at 10 30 and i have called up my faculty to get me guide through it so and so so and so what are the process so everything is new you cannot do anything that you are going to go to on the platform that we have to go according to that one we have to go for a, a, the situation which arises is that right we can go for zoom we can go for this you must know able to know all this platform yesterday others we have got for microsoft team this is what the only advantage we have got it you have got it is that by this we initiated you got your email id you are not getting the point you got your email official email id which is very you will come to know when you use on the website it's what benefits you will get it the best advantage you got it we started within somebody has given you the web we have already from yesterday we have created your web email ids that is a wonderful thing you don't know what the advantage is you will get it fine we'll go for other but you have to get used to it that don't come up with all this question this is new to us this is you are in csa branch and you're doing it new branch means so what is this i'm not going to entertain all those things this is not the way any more things thank you very much we'll see it on monday we have to do something okay thank you very much okay sir allah hafiz allah hafiz.